Welcome back. Now it's a Monday and everybody's thinking about money. But the thing is, do they truly have financial intelligence, which is often said to be the key to success? Why? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about this morning on Motivation. And to do justice to that, we have Dr. Olumide Oladakwo Emmanuel, popularly known as the Common Sense Guru. He's no doubt one of the world's leading motivational speakers and wealth creation agents. And he has over three decades of transforming lives. Can't wait for this conversation to begin. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, thank you. Nice to be here again. All right. So everybody is thinking about what's Ooh. left in their bank account. It's yeah. the 19th of September. And we're thinking, how <laughs> many more days till that next paycheck? Wow. Is that financially intelligent? Well, um, if people have financial intelligence, that they will be able to have financial freedom and they will need to worry about money. Um, I teach that when people want to become wealthy, there are three major things that they need to do. Number one, they need to have financial intelligence. Okay. Number two, they need to have a financial plan. And then number three, they need to have financial discipline. Okay. So financial intelligence is the foundation and the doorway into the world of wealth. And when we talk about education, one of the things I've come to realize is that a lot of people know what it means to either be educated or uneducated. Okay. But there is actually a third dimension, which is what really matters to be miseducated. Hmm. So people are either educated or uneducated, but the problem is they are actually miseducated. So, so it is words, the miseducation that leads people into trouble. Because when you have the wrong information and you think you have all the information, when you have incomplete information, you think you have all the information, you have been miseducated. And that's one of the challenges that people have. Okay, so that word miseducation, I'm gonna you know, stick with that for a, a okay. little while. Um, miseducation, in this context, probably means you've been receiving information. It's not as if you haven't received information, but you've been receiving the wrong information that, ha that has created a foundation for, um, for the errors you're making in your yeah. finances. So let's look at it this way. A lot of us growing up were told to go to school, oh. get good grades, okay. get a job, and then retire. Okay. That's a miseducation. It's a miseducation because they made us to believe that that's the only way that exists if we want to become successful financially. Okay. But there are lots of people that have now come to realize that most of what we have been told is incomplete. And because it's incomplete, it's incorrect. Now, there are five kinds of education that you require if you're going to become successful. Number one, you need spiritual education. Number two, you need personal education to understand yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, your likes, your dislikes. Number three, you need academic education. Academic education does four things. It helps you to be able to read, to write, to do mathematics or arithmetic or calculation, and to think analytically. But then you also need professional education to understand the way the marketplace works. And finally, you need financial education. But miseducation is, all you need is go to school, get good grades, and get a good job. So many people now have master's degree in business administration, master's degree in economics, and they are still not successful personally. Why? Because they don't have financial intelligence, and schools don't teach it. OK, so now, it does feel like a lot of stages in our education have been skipped, uh, hop, skip, and jump. First of all, um, why do you think that is, uh, that after decades of having uh, at least certain levels of exposure over the internet. Um, a lot of teachers, coaches like yourself have come about. Uh, why do you think it's not being absorbed by the people that financial literacy, financial education, education and uh, information? Well, it's because those that manage the educational system don't know better. Because when it comes to the curriculum, for instance, you find out that when you look at our academic sector today, a lot of what we do is purely academic. Okay. The technical aspect of education has been bastardized over the decades. So you find that we don't have technical schools. So you're looking for a plumber, they are not available. A tiler, an electrician, you're looking for people that will do all the other technical aspects. They are not available because everybody is going through academic education. Okay. But most of what you learn in school, over 80% of what you learn in school is useless when you graduate. Mm. When you resume school in year one, you are resuming in a particular world. By the time you graduate four, five years later, or seven, eight years, depending on ASU, you are graduating in a world that is different from the world that existed when you went into school. So it's very, very important for those who manage our educational sector to now begin to look into other aspects of education, technical education, vocational education, and talent education to help people. Someone is watching right now, and they've just discovered that, look, they are not actually financially literate at all. They don't understand how to use their money 
Uh, they don't understand how their money can work for them. Uh, they don't even understand the true value of what they earn or what they are even worth on a daily basis. Where can they go? What can they do to make some changes? Okay, since schools don't teach personal uh, financial education, it comes through personal development. So the advice I will give to them is get books. I've written a lot of books. They can go to my website, go to, follow me on social media and get details. Get books, get materials, go for courses, go for trainings to get financial education. Financial education is not something you graduate from. You don't graduate, you keep learning because the day you stop learning, you start that. So you learn the basics and you start and you keep learning. And that's the way it works. All right, so now uh, there's a lot of different ways uh, that people use money. Uh, uh, people don't understand money yet. But the truth is, as they're reading, as they're going along, uh, people are more focused on making money. So understanding money doesn't essentially mean that you're going to make money almost immediately, right? But for those watching right now who want to focus on making money, what would you advise? Now, the first thing you need to do is get financial intelligence. When you get financial intelligence, you will understand how not to make money okay. and then how to make money. Because when you don't know how to make money, it becomes difficult to make it. So that financial intelligence, part of the education you get in financial intelligence is how not to make money and how to make money. And once you understand how not to make money, you begin to avoid those how nots. And then when you know how to, you begin to focus on the how to. And then when you know how to make money, the next thing it teaches you is how to manage the money. Okay. and then how to multiply. So make, manage, multiply. Mm. But it begins with understanding how to make mm. because it's not how much you make that matters. It's what you do with what you make that matters. And that's where management comes in. Because when people don't know how to manage money, they will not be able to multiply it. Because once your expenditure is greater than your income, your upkeep becomes your downfall. Mm. So it's very, very important for people to know that. And a lot of people, how not to make money is very key. Could you say and that again? When your expenditure... When your expenditure is greater than your income, your upkeep will become your downfall. Because wow. if you eat tomorrow's food today... I think we should tweet that one. If you eat tomorrow's food today, you'll be hungry tomorrow. If you Goodness wear tomorrow's me. clothes today, you're going to be naked tomorrow. Mm. If you live tomorrow's life today, you will have no life tomorrow. So delayed gratification is part of the things you learn, which is why I said financial intelligence, financial planning, financial discipline. You see, a lot of people have studied so much. They have financial intelligence, they have good plans. Mm but they are not able to execute it because they don't have financial discipline. Mm. And that's why the three are very, very key. So by next week, we will now focus on that discipline aspect mm. to know what are the differences that people can do to become more disciplined. Honestly, uh, I, I just soaked in quite a lot of information in quite a <laughs> short time, and I have a feeling you did as well at home. Please use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC.